Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Remember this apron I did in the video a few weeks ago? This one here has a pocket down below or a double pocket below. A viewer has asked, how do you put a zippered pocket in your apron so that you can actually put your cash and valuables away? That's what we're going to do today. I figured I have room up the top here, so that's where we're going to put the pocket. Hang around and I'll show you how to put a zippered pocket on the front of your apron, anywhere else too for that matter. Okay, so we, we don't need much by way of material for this project, the apron is already done. And if you'd like to go and make the apron, I'll pop a link up in the corner now. Uh, so to make a patch pocket, all we need is an eight inch zip, two tabs that are one inch wide by two inches long. I'm using a number three zip or a dress zipper. Uh, and my fabric is cut at least as wide as the zipper tape. So if you're using a number five, you'll want to cut your tab a little bit wider, though it won't matter because it'll be taken up in the seam allowance. So we have two tabs, one inch by two inches. I have a strip of fabric that is nine by one and a half inches for the top of the pocket and another piece of fabric that is nine by six inches for the pocket piece. I'm using denim because that's what the apron was made out of. And I'm using a green zip because I've got green contrast ties on the apron. So I'm just going to tie that all in. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is put these tabs on the end of our zip. Now I need to have a tab on this side and another one on this side as well, just to help keep the zip together. I'm just going to tape this together like that and that'll hold it in place. It'll just make it less fiddly when it comes time to sewing this on. So this time I'm going to do something a little bit different with my tape. You can see the metal teeth here. We don't want to be sewing over that. So I'm going to put the edge of my fabric wrong side up on the top of my zip and you can see the little metal teeth. I'm going to line that up along there. And then I'm going to go to the machine and all I'm doing is a quarter of an inch seam that I'm going to sew straight down that line there. I'm well away from those little metal bits on the um, zip. So I'll do that on this side. On the other side, we've got the metal bar here as well. So I'm going to do the same at this end. I'm going to line up the edge of my tab just next to that metal bar and sew about a quarter of an inch in from that. Let's take this to the machine. When you get to the part with the zipper teeth, you just want to sew that over that a couple of times. So just go back and forward a couple of times and that'll be enough to secure it. With the tab secured now, you can trim off all the excess. And the tape at both ends. So then you just fold out the tab and you've got a nice neat edge on your zip. Find the center and I've also marked the center of my narrow piece of fabric and the other one as well. I've just taken a little notch out at the top. Place your zip right side down and we'll center that over the top of the pocket section. And I'm just going to clip this in place. So I've clipped the pocket section to the zip and I'm going to do the same with the top section. So that will also be clipped to the um, zipper tape. Find the center and line that up and then just clip it across evenly. You'll notice that my tabs are quite a lot longer than the width of the fabric. That's fine, we're going to trim that off. I always allow extra. So I've got the top section of my pocket and the pocket piece sandwiched between the zipper tape and I'm ready to now take this to the machine and sew. Stitch down both long edges of the tape there. When we've done that, we're going to open out the fabric and then we'll go and top stitch as well. Keep the uh, slide of your zip out of the way when you start sewing and you can always move it back up again later. It makes it a little bit easier to get your fabric under the presser foot. When you've come along far enough, you can slide that back. Then it'll be smooth sailing from there. Okay. 
once we've done that we'll turn around and do the other side and just move that zipper out of the way again once you've finished inserting the zip we're now going to do a top stitch we only need to do it along the two long edges we don't need to do the sides because we're going to be doing a double row of stitching for the pocket shortly so just straight down the long edges make sure your zipper tape is open you don't want to have the seams facing in you want them both out All right, the zip's been finished on our patch pocket. What we can do now is trim off the excess and just neaten it up and make it nice and straight. And what we're going to do is turn over the edges, flip it across to the other side, and we're going to fold the raw edge over and as you turn that over, that is going to sit just over the raw edge of the zip there. Clip it in place and you'll see that this side has less fabric than this side. I'm going to even that up. So I've got one and a half centimetres or five eighths of an inch on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm measuring from the stitching line of the tab. So I'm just going to trim off this excess so that I've got the same amount on both sides. Double check before you cut that. And now that my sides are the same, I can fold that over and you'll see that that little tab on each end is around about the same size. So we're going to fold all the four edges over. When you're folding the corners over, you can just fold straight down and then fold straight up and stitch all the way around. If you want to mitre your corners, what I like to do is open out the fabric and just finger press the fold all the way across on both sides here and you can see where the fold is just along this corner here I'll bring the corner in on the diagonal so you've got a 45 degree angle here pinch it together that's what it looks like on the underside and then fold those edges back over on both ends And when you've done that, you'll have a nice square corner and on the inside, you'll have a nice mitre. So you can do that on all four corners. And that just helps eliminate any raw seams. It also helps reduce some of the bulk that you have in the corners. We now have our edges folded over and we're ready to stitch this in place. You can do two things here. When I made the apron originally, I went and hemmed everything before I attached it to the apron. So you can go now to the machine and sew along the raw edge of the fabric just to secure everything in place. To avoid having to do that, I'm going to use some double-sided tape over this hem. So by placing the double-sided tape over the, the bottom of the hem there, I can peel the tape off. And you can see that the tape has covered the edge of my hem and it's also on the back of the pocket. So that's just holding that hem in place nice and securely. So you can go and do that all the way around. Once you've got that tape all the way around your pocket, we can actually put this straight onto our apron. So find the center of your apron, or if you're putting this pocket onto something else, find the center and then determine whereabouts you're going to place that pocket. And because we've got the double-sided tape, we can just stick this straight down where we want it to go. By not having to use pins here, it means we're not going to distort the fabric as we're sewing. So I can now take this to the machine. I'm going to do two rows of stitching, one row of top stitching right on the very edge like you would normally do with top stitching. And then the next row is going to be in about a quarter of an inch. So if you imagine what your jeans are like, how you have the patch pocket with the two rows of stitching, we're doing exactly the same thing. So we, first of all, we're going to do a top stitch all the way around, all four sides. Then we're going to come in and do another row of stitching all the way around the four sides. 
then our pocket's done. So it doesn't really matter where you start, that's up to yourself. Just start with a back stitch all the way around and then do the second row straight after that. And the next row I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch away or I'll use the edge of my foot as a guide. And I'll just follow along on the previous stitching line or the edge of the fabric. And there we go, we've finished our patch pocket on the front of our apron. You can't see any of the seams underneath because we've done that double row of stitching. So our pocket is completely secure. You can put your money, your phone, your jewels, anything. Uh, and there you can see on the wrong side how the stitching looks. So on the pocket here I've done the same thing. It's just a double row of stitching with a seam down the centre to divide the pocket in half. This one here is that zippered pocket. Nice and neat. Raw edges are all tucked away and you have a nice secure pocket on your apron or whatever garment you choose to put it on. Okay, there we have it. A zippered pocket in the apron. Plenty of room to put your cash or your personal belongings. Great for market stalls as well. Then you can make sure you can keep everything nice and secure. Thanks to Teresa for requesting this little video. I hope this is the type of pocket that you're looking for and that it's going to work out for you. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.